everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma aka Blurs and today I'm going to be doing another speed build. I'm on my garden city island of Azalea which is kind of a city but lots of gardens and flowers everywhere. So I'm loving that. I'm gonna work on my house. I want to make it like a mansion, use some simple panels, expand it out a bit. I've never done it before. So I'm gonna give it a go and fingers crossed it turns out okay. So I'm gonna start off by putting in some cliffs as this is where I'm sort of gonna be building up around the house itself. So as you can see, I'm kind of enclosing it in here. initially decided to go three wide over on the kind of very outside of the house um, but you can do it however you want depends how big you want your area to be I'm just putting these pavement slabs down just so that I can put simple panels over the top of them again it's up to you whatever flooring you put down in front is just so that you can kind of conceal the grass and then in I go with my simple panel designs. I've chosen these kind of quite regal panels and I'm mixing it up with the windows and the lovely kind of flowers on the wall, which kind of are just quite in keeping with my theme. In again with the pavement slabs, again, just to kind of add that detail and cover up the grass. And then I'm gonna use the iron garden bench as sort of like a balcony type thing. Um, I just thought it was nice and it keeps in with that elegant theme that I'm trying to achieve. Just have to expand out here a bit and I'm just going to grab some hedges as I forgot them. So I'm going to put the second line is going to be hedges and the first line is going to be the iron bench. I did try messing around with the addition of the cypress plant but I'm not overly keen on that um, so it doesn't stay for very long. I think when you're trying to build stuff like this it's really important just to try and see stuff what fits um, and maybe you might come up with something better which is kind of yeah just experimenting with how you build. And next up, I'm gonna replicate the simple panels. This time I've just mixed up with what way round they go. So there's a bit of difference from the lower level. I also thought about adding in the silos. I wanted to see how they look because the house of, the roof of my house is quite a dark color. So I thought they might fit nicely, but I wasn't feeling them that much. So I just removed them out. And I also decided that the three wide was maybe just a little bit too big for what I'm after. So I'm gonna narrow it down a bit so that it's just too wide. I thought maybe the position of the stylo was just wrong and maybe it needed to be further behind the house, but I think the loft bed looks just as good. So I'm gonna go with that and then add in a tree just to add some green greenery behind, just for, for fun really. Um, okay, so I'm gonna knock down this wall now. It's not a wall, it's a <laughs> cliff. You know what I mean. And then I've got some stools just to add on the end, just to kind of make it feel a bit more like a building. OK, 
Okay, so that's the right hand side down. Now it's time to replicate that on the left hand side. I'm gonna do exactly the same. Now that I know what I'm doing, it just is gonna be a bit quicker. This is the point where I realized I ran out of simple panels with the windows. So I will craft some more of them, don't worry. Okay, I'm back with those simple panels that I forgot about, so I'm just going to put them in their place and then it'll be time to start work on out front of the house. If you've watched my previous videos on Azalea, you will notice that I've changed out the kind of cobblestone path and I just wanted to do that because I thought this was really nice with the added extra greenery in it. Let me know what you think. Do you prefer the original or do you like this one? I just thought that this was more in keeping with the theme that I'm trying to achieve, hence why I did choose this one. Um, I still really love the other one. Maybe I'll add that one back in and add it in some different areas, but it still works perfectly with the paving slabs and things so um, I was really excited to find this custom design and I do really like it. I'm gonna work on adding a little bit of detail around the entrance here just so that um, it's kind of like a focal point it is the entrance so generally there is something nice there and then I can just put some items on the paving slabs it just sets it aside a little bit and I'm doing two lines of paving slabs on the sides just so that I can um, put some fencing and things down there. I wanted to test out this fencing. I've not used it on this island so far and I just felt it was a little bit too grey so I went back to the hedges. that furniture in that I spoke about the entrance way I did pick up my mailbox I'm not sure where I'm gonna put that maybe it can go in this area maybe I'll decide to change it up um, but we'll see I don't think there's gonna quite be room for it but maybe I could put it right down at the start of this entrance way so it's down at the like the road side that would be kind of cool um or maybe i'll do a post office for this island it is supposed to be a city after all so a post office would be quite fitting i've got so many ideas now i went through a big phase of being out of love with this island and i put it off and put it off and i've spent the last couple of days playing on this island as opposed to my full island and i'm really getting back into it um I realized that I didn't have any plots I had no I did have two plots left so I 
moved in Felicity who has the perfect house for this island. If you're just wanting a little bit of an update on what's happening with Azalea then Felicity's moved in. I've still got one plot to, to go. If you want to see a villager hunt let me know in the comments and maybe I will do that. I've, there's so many villagers that I want for this island. I've got a long list Diana, Bitty's on there, who else is on there, Mary, there's just a whole host of villagers that I kind of never really had before, so I'm really excited to see what they would be like on this island. And while we're talking about future content, just remember to subscribe if you're not already, if you'd like to see more Animal Crossing stuff, I've got some exciting things coming for you guys, lots of planned videos and I'm definitely going to be streaming more which I know you guys love I'm trying to gonna try and do at least once a week I've really slipped behind with life just being so busy at the moment see I've added in some benches some garden wagons just on either side of the house I'm just playing around with these custom designs they're really cute but they take up a lot of slots so I might get rid of some of them just to make way for some other custom designs but I really like just the square ones so I might keep a hold of them I wish they were purple though so much but I think the color is nice I really like the warm tones of that maybe I will keep them I wish I just wish there was a purple version which would be really nice for this theme oh definitely don't want to delete that <laughs> this island is going to be like symmetrical so I'm just trying to make sure that I recreate the same areas over on the right hand side as I did on the left I'm still not sure if I might have to I might change up the house exterior itself with Tom I think the pink door is just a little bit I don't know maybe it needs something a little bit less offensive or maybe it's the roof I chose that color roof because I thought that I'd be using the silos um, but now I'm I'm doubting whether that really goes and maybe it needs to be more of like a stony color yeah I really think it does now I'm watching it back I'm like oh no why did I do that but hey um, you live and you learn and I can always tweak that later it's a really minor adjustment and then I'm sure I'll share some photos with you guys. And for the edges, I'm just going to go in with some hedges, add some cypress plants on the corners. I've used so much fencing on this island. I swear it's probably the most I've ever used because I'm just trying to section up areas and trying to get as much greenery in as possible. Probably by the end of this island, I'm going to be fed up of seeing hedges. Um, but for now, I'm I'm loving it. I, I'm not I'm not opposed to it. And I think it's nice that you can kind of see the custom design poking out underneath, which just beats just seeing normal grass under there. These umbrella and lavender bushes are really pretty. Um, I definitely wanted to include them. And I've got some trees just to dot around here. I'm gonna work on the kind of beautifying the garden area later. I'll do it off um, video just because it gets a bit repetitive, planting flowers, etc. Um, and I'm sure you you guys are not here for that. You're here for the actual building. Okay, time to just work on what to do right down the front here. Again, some more hedges. I'm gonna be deleting that bridge because I can't cope with it being off center like that. I kind of wish you could have bridges that were three wide um, just for 
situations like this so I might have to do like a little land bridge over the river because it's so close to the um, mouth out into the sea so I might have to do that so here we are here is the finished area and let me know what you think and I've just realized oh no something was bound to go wrong I forgot to add the loft bed in behind the simple panels on the left so please excuse that um but I will add that in as well as changing the roof color um but yeah here it is it's kind of like a garden out front very elegant um very symmetrical um, and it kind of feels a bit more regal. It's kind of like a mansion, maybe a mini mansion because it's not massive. Um, it's kind of a cute mansion. We'll go with that. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think. If you've enjoyed the video, please remember to get, click that like button. If you're new to the channel and you want to watch more Animal Crossing content, then click subscribe. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye bye.